Aloha, and welcome back to Let's Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Bodokai 3. I'm Paper Mario Guy. In the last episode, we were starting, we started this fight, and we got pretty far into it, but I am, I don't know, what are, you can call me whatever you want, a bitch, uh, a bad player, whatever, but I can't, I cannot beat Super Boo with Gohan stats the way they are right now. Um on Z difficulty. It's he's just too strong. His attacks are just too sporadic. He dodges so easily. He's just he's ridiculous. And that's the only the only fair way I can describe him is just ridiculous. Um And I mean I'm sorry if you don't like the fact that I use this trick, but I mean yeah I, I, I literally don't know what to say. I mean, it, it's just too, it's too hard. Boo, Boo just gives me too much frustration. It's not even so because I would deal with it if it was of a different person. But it's just like I know, like I've obviously played this game plenty of times before, and just Boo, Boo aggravates me to no end. I can't, I can't deal with how annoying Boo is. It just, just everything from his runway ball to his three flash or whatever the hell that's supposed to mean, to just everything. When he gets you in a dragon rush when I don't think that he should have been able to. When he hits me through walls and does full bars of damage. I mean, I could go on and on. Like, everything pisses me off about this guy, and I just, I need viral heart disease. I, I can't do it without it. So, I'm sorry if you don't like it, but you're just gonna have to deal with it, because... Otherwise, I'm just gonna be stuck here for hours. I'm gonna be angry. My commentary will be pretty annoying, if you ask me. Because I mean, when I'm angry and frustrated, I just find it more annoying than anything. It's not very entertaining. It's more just blunt anger, and uh, I don't talk about much. And there are plenty of things to talk about rather than me being angry at a video game. Especially considering you can see all the problems that I'm having, and oftentimes I'll repeat myself. But either way, we KO'd him relatively quickly, 2 minutes and 20 seconds, and it allows me to progress farther into the story, show a little bit more than what I would have been able to if I was sitting here for 5 minutes dodging and running like a bitch and all that junk. So I mean, I think it works out all for me, so I'm not frustrated for you guys, so you can see more action and fights, and so we can progress through this game a little faster than I, uh... Then, then it would be if I did not. Because, I mean, the Boo fight in the last episode, I think, was like five minutes long. With Viral Heart Disease, it would have been like three minutes tops. So, I mean, it helps. It does. But anyway, he's talking about the absorption. I was actually watching this on YouTube a little while ago, like five, six days. But, um, speaking of just, like, DBZ in general, oh, this is the end of his story. Huh? Boo succeeds in absorbing Piccolo and Gotenks, giving him the what? upper hand again. Gohan is faced with the greatest danger to his life yet. Who can save him now? I am lost for words. Why is this so short? Well, I mean, we unlocked the Great Sandman, but there, I, there's definitely more. There's definitely more to be done in this, in this thing. I can assure you, folks, we are not finished. There's more battles. There's other battles. There's extra things. Maybe it, maybe that did really change it. Sparring with Vegeta changed it that radically. That instead of me going and facing Videl and then, like I normally did, I don't, I don't really know what to say. I. I was silent. I'm pretty flabbergasted. I, I, yeah. Wow. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyway, well, let's make our wish, I guess. Um. We could do Memories of Gohan, Breakthrough of Gohan, or Supreme Kai's Outfit. Each has their own special thing. I never usually pick these. I usually pick Memories of Gohan or Breakthrough. I am going to pick uh, Memories of Gohan. Uh, I'm going to pick Breakthrough. And then the second time around, I'll do uh, Memories of uh, Gohan. 
because again, I mean, I I'm I tell you, there's there's a Videl fight, um, like sparring between them, and there's more battles. There's definitely extra battles. You don't just fight, boo. I mean, I guess that's the 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 actual story of it because. After he gets absorbed, he you you don't see him until the end of DBZ, where everything's saved and Kid Boo's destroyed and all. So I guess that makes sense. But there are, like I said, there are other battles that I will be showing. I guess in an extra video. I guess this is just going to be a shorter video now. Um, so I apologize. Actually, you know what I think we could do is rather than ending it here, I'm gonna go sh just give you a sample of what the shop is like. Um. So, yeah. Um, safe progress, I guess. Because what actually happened is before I fought Gohan, or started Gohan's story, I loaded it up and I was going to record, but I noticed something was wrong and I had already been in a progress and I was fighting someone that wasn't uh, Super Boo, someone after Super Boo. So, I mean, whatever. Anyway, to get to the capsule shop, you have to go to skill editing, one player... Then down the skill shop, and you'll have all these different things, and I'll give you a quick analysis of it. I will we'll be revisiting to actually buy some stuff. As you can see, 83,000 is where I'm at. And, um, there's all sorts of things. They range from 1.5 thousand zenny to 3,000 to 6,000 to 10,000 to 25,000. I've seen 30,000. I've seen 40,000. Also 50,000. And then some of the higher end things like sparking, we got a power, things like that are worth even more. I think the most expensive thing that you can buy in the shop is a uh, um, something for 150,000 zenny, and I think it's sparking with uh, a certain amount of exclamation points. Um, I think it's seven or eight, and that's really useful. And I cannot wait until I get that because. That will help you get money so easily, because you just go into the Advanced World Tournament, apply sparking, and you just go buck wild. You make so much money. Because it's like times 200, like it's 200% more money, so instead of making 50,000 zenny, you make 200,000, so in five things, you can have a million zenny. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty useful. I use it very, very, very often. But, um... Yeah, I wasn't expecting this to be so, uh, short. But, I mean, I'm not going to extend this to, like, any pa anything past, like, 8 minutes and 30 seconds. So I guess I'm just gonna go back to the main menu and, uh, just kinda... Do my sign-off. Um, here, actually, we can go into Dragon Universe real quick, just to show you what we now have completed and what we have left to do, even though you've seen this before and you could do Process of Elimination. But... We've done Gohan, all three stages, and Goku. Now, Vegeta's next in line, but we're not going to do Vegeta, as I said. He's going to be the last. Because I want to start with Goku and end with Vegeta. Uh, especially because Vegeta's my favorite character, save the best for last. Um, next, we will be doing um, Krillin. Then after Krillin, we're not going to do Piccolo. We're going to do Tien and Yamcha quickly, then Piccolo then Oob and Broly, and then finish out with Vegeta. I think that's what my plan is right now. So, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for uh, Krillin, the beginning of Krillin's story. Um, but yeah, I, again, I wasn't expecting this to be this short, and uh, I apologize if you were expecting more, because I was too, and I totally lied about the whole... 8 minutes and 30 seconds, it's 9 minutes now. But without rambling for too much longer, um, I am Paper Mario Guy of the Koopa Ninja Bros. Uh, shorter episode, yes, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same, and I will see you in part 29, I believe? 29 or 20 or 30 for uh, the beginning of Krillin. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.